traditional Scrum perspective, this is a no-no, right? So in Scrum, we say one team, one product. So in, in a proper Scrum environment, we want to have dedicated teams, right? And so if you want to address the root cause of the problem, so if you don't want to, like, because your question is, how can I make those guys happy, continue doing what they are doing already, right? And they are stretched in and uh, uh, kind of, can we send them a clown and uh, make them smile? So those okay. type of solutions, they are short term and uh, don't necessarily change in the, like they don't work in the long perspective. We're solving a symptom, right? Not a root cause. And if we want to dig deeper, then we need to analyze, okay, the main problem is that those teams are actually multitasking. They are trying to do multiple things at once. And the, the important thing is how can you teach your organization the problems with multitasking, right? So the, the key that you need to start asking yourself is who is the decision making maker in my organization? Who are those uh, business people? Who are the managers who suffer from non-delivery or bad performance of the teams? So those stakeholders who really suffer, who suffers from the consequences of team delivering late? Who suffers from the consequences of team uh, not delivering or delivering wrong thing? So who are those stakeholders? And you need to analyze. And then you go and talk to them, right? Because you should be trying to help your organization uh, establish good delivery speed and delivery patterns and essentially working on uh, on making everybody happy through changing the structure and changing of how the system is set up, right? So, and, and the question that, so first you need to, figure out those guys, like who is not happy in my organization, uh, who is a decision making, who can help me change the structure. And then you need to go to them and have a conversation about all those things that currently are not working. They are probably, your teams are probably late. Your teams are probably delivering with, with worse quality that they could have delivered if they've been focused on one thing at a time. And essentially what you need to sell them is the idea that working on one thing at a time is better than working on uh, on multiple things at a time. And there you have some research which is done where you can essentially I can draw here a thing. So number of projects, one, two, three, four, five. This is how many projects your team is working on simultaneously. Uh, this is, uh, focus. This is waste. So if you imagine that your team is, uh, focused on one project only, they have 100% focus and 0% waste. Uh, oops. Then let's say that we are asking one team to multitask. Right. Hey guys, here's another project for you. Right. When you give them another project, you get slightly different picture. You get, they get 40% focus, uh, on one project, 40 on the other, and then 20% goes to waste. So now they waste 20% on context switching, switching between work on different projects costs, cost in form of time. Right. Uh, bye, Rita. Um, and um, free, if you have free projects simultaneously, so now you bring one more, right? And this is now I'm just sharing the report that I want to share that you share with your management, essentially. And I can I can send you the uh, the PDF with this information later. But the thing is that when you give them 40, they are down to 20 percent on one, 20 on the other, 20 on the third one, 60 percent working, 40 percent waste, right? This is waste, this is focus. Uh, and then 10 percent and 50 and 5 percent and 75. So if you look at these numbers, 
it's scary. So if, if a team participates on five initiatives, it's almost the same as they if you send them home <laughs> and, and ask them to do nothing. <laughs> the efficiency is very close to this. They, they can just do 5% of effective work on one of those five projects, essentially wasting most of the time. And there, there is a kind of scientific research done and not just one. So if you just, the damages of multitasking, right? Essentially, this is uh, multi, oops, multitasking. Multitasking is dangerous and multitasking eats time um, and eats away efficiency of your teams. And that's the main idea that you need to convey somehow to the management. And ideally, the question is not how can I, uh, what can I do with the teams? The question is what can you do with the environment? so that the team stop multi multitasking. Thank you. I, uh, I completely agree. <laughs> and, and, and then, but it's a hard sell, right? But the idea that you need to do is like how I was doing this. Usually uh, I will take a corporation like yours. I will say, hey guys, let's do experiment on one team, right? Uh, let everybody continue what they are doing. Let's take one team. And let's remove, like if they are multitasking now on free projects, let's see what happens if you ask them to do those projects one by one. So imagine you have black projects or black product, you have green product, and you have blue product. They can do them like this in parallel. So this is the start, right? The start date, I don't know, 1st of January. Uh, they start and then they end. This is uh, November. This is December. This is, uh, I don't know, September. So now you have three projects, and those three projects have been done by the same team in parallel. And this is the duration. The, 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 the science tells us that if these guys were doing these projects one by one, and this is something I have repeatedly seen, uh, that you can do all three by August. So <laughs> think about it. Very often, this is what we figure out, that when you do it in parallel, the, the project which ended the soonest, the green one in this case, ended up in September, right? But if we have done exactly the same thing, one by one, focusing on them, we would be done with all of them before the time the first one of them was done in the first case. And, 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 and that's how we are trying to sell the, um, the idea to the companies when we say, hey guys, if you start doing it one by one, just make experiment on one team and see the difference. See the difference. When the team is really focused, they are much, much more efficient. 